So how do you know if you have any of these nasty things on your computer? Well, there are some traditional signs, some classic signs of infection. But understand this, a lot of modern malware is designed to keep a low profile. Now, in the old days, people wanted the spyware and the malware and the viruses and the worms to be very obvious because they wanted to really mess with you. Nowadays, with cybercrime becoming such a big business, they really want to keep it secret. They want to create what we call botnets or they want to create zombie computers that they can manipulate and they can use in coordinated attacks. And so the average user, they don't want them to know that they're part of that network. So in other words, your grandma could be a zombie computer. She could be part of a cyber gang syndicate without knowing that she's part of the mob, okay? But these are some classic signs of infection. First one is the computer is running slow. The computer is really running slow. It seems to have a problem just getting anything done. The next one is the computer will not shut down or restart properly because the operating system might not have control over that malicious code. And so as it's trying to shut everything down, the malicious software, the virus or the worm or whatever doesn't shut down as well. And so it keeps the computer running. There are lots of pop-up ads. Sometimes the computer doesn't even have to be plugged into the internet to get those pop-up ads. I'd said in a previous video that I used to work for Best Buy several years ago. And I had this kindly old grandmotherly lady come in and she wanted me to turn her computer on. She told me not to turn it on where others can see it because the minute I turned it on, I wasn't even connected to the internet. All these porn pop-ups started happening. And so that case she had, her computer was all sorts of infected. Uh, apparently the grandchildren got a hold of it. There are unwanted toolbars in your browser. If you have a browser and it's full of different toolbars up top with different buttons and different search engines and different stuff, that's a good sign that you're infected. Also, there are unwanted icons on your screen. So if you look at your desktop and there are little icons for different programs that you don't remember putting on the computer, that's also a good indication that you're infected. Again, keep in mind, a lot of the modern malware tries to stay under the radar. So you just can't count on these things showing up. But again, those were some of the more classic signs. So if they do show up, you definitely know that you're infected. So if you are infected, what should you do? Well, the first thing you should do is stop using that computer to log into any site. Don't put your username and password on that computer at any site, especially banking or online stores. Anything that stores your financial information stop using that computer immediately. I would even suggest finding another device, not that computer, but going to a different device and changing every password that you used on that infected computer. Also, keep a careful eye on your accounts. So if you have used an infected computer, you might wanna make sure that your bank account is showing correctly or your PayPal or what have you, you wanna keep an eye on your records. Check to see if your security software is up to date and running. I can't tell you how many people I've run into in my life when working on computers that think they're protected because a virus protection thing pops up. Well, the virus protection thing that pops up is basically telling them it's out of date or your subscription has ended. You need to make sure your antivirus, your anti-malware software is up to date. Remember in the previous video, I said there's over 100,000 new viruses every week and 100,000 malicious codes every single week. So if your antivirus, anti-malware software is over a month old, you're not protected. Do a full scan of your computer. And some experts say to just reinstall the operating system. And I fully believe in that nowadays because in the old days, we could fix computers with infections. Nowadays, you know, if just a little bit remains in the computer, it can reinstall itself. And so nowadays, if you are infected, it might be too late. And so you might need to wipe the system and reinstall. So in the next video, after I've sufficiently scared you in this one, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to protect your computer so you don't have this problem to begin with.